Hey everyone, Alex here. Today we're going to talk about the Harvard Computer Science Master's degree online. So this is through actually Harvard's Extension School. It's not exactly Harvard University, but it is like the online component to their school. So the reason they call their online component Harvard Extension School is because Harvard is a very prestigious university and a lot of people would get upset if you can get Harvard online degrees, you know, basically some of the alumni, etc. Because it's such a prestigious school that they don't want like online degrees. So they call their online degrees basically extension school. Uh, so it's Harvard extension school. Uh, it's still the same curriculum, you know, same professors, uh, the same rigor, the same difficulty, basically the same everything. The only reason it's not called Harvard University is because of, you know, those reasons, you know, like they don't want their degrees to be able to get online um, and basically mess up their reputation anyway, even though there's nothing wrong with online degrees. So a degree from Harvard Extension School is extremely respected. The thing is, it's extremely expensive, uh, like $40,000 type of expense. But... If money is not a factor for you, uh, this is one of the best educations you can get. Harvard recently, uh, they recently made their software engineering masters into a computer science masters. So uh, this was called software engineering like a year ago and they decided to make it called computer science. They probably did not get enough enrollees for the software engineering masters. And the computer science masters looks really good, really great education. And we're going to take a look into that today. We're going to take a look into the curriculum. Would I personally do this degree if money was not a factor? I might. Uh, you know, it, it's Harvard. Uh, great. You're going to learn a lot from Harvard, right? You're going to, it's going to be a great education. And it looks really, really good on the resume. So, but with the cost involved, I very likely would not. But like I said, if money is not a factor for you, it might be something you're interested in. Also, maybe you just want to see what a Harvard online master's degree curriculum would look like. You know, what uh, what classes can you expect, etc. Maybe you're curious about that. So if you're curious what a Harvard online computer science master's degree looks like, let's start this video. Let's get into the curriculum. Let's get to the degree page. All right, guys, I am on the extension page for this uh, Harvard extension page for the computer science master's degree program. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at Harvard extension schools website and they've updated everything It actually looks really nice now. Um, it was really clunky before, but now they've upgraded the user interface. They've updated the web page. It seems like they're taking their master's degree programs really serious now. So uh, the Harvard extension program has 11 of 12 online courses. So I believe at the end of this degree program, like if you're going to take this degree program really serious, you will have one three week summer course, which is cool because you get to spend three weeks at Harvard and three weeks on vacation. So, and obviously if you're doing a degree for $40,000, I'm assuming you have the money to, you know, take three weeks off and go to the Harvard school for three weeks. So, but anyways, some of you are, most of you are probably not going to do this degree. You're probably just going to, you're looking at the curriculum just to see what a Harvard master's computer science degree looks like. But there are probably some of you that are interested in actually doing this degree. So that'll be great for you guys too, to watch this video. So basically they don't list the exact course curriculum you need, but they do list exactly um, the subjects that you're going to be doing. <clears throat> Sorry. So you'll be doing data structures. Uh, one course, you'll be doing algorithms one course, and then you'll be doing programming languages, probably one or two courses in that as well. And then you'll have electives from courses, whatever you want to choose. So it's a very elective heavy uh, master's degree program. Uh, so, and that's how most computer science master's programs are. You usually have a graduate algorithm class that's required and maybe like one or two other classes that are required and then everything else is just electives that you pick so that's usually how most computer science master's degrees work not all of them but most of them which i love you should you should be able to pick whatever you want to do you should be able to pick whatever courses interest you the most it's one of the things i love about the georgia tech master's degree so there's 
uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, software engineering, cloud computing, and there's also data science uh, as well. So 11 online courses, and then you, yes, you have the three week capstone in person at the school. You can, you can walk the Harvard stage, I believe, to graduate, which is pretty awesome. Here's the career outcomes. And yeah, so I was correct, 40,000 for this degree. That, a lot of money, guys, but maybe money is not a factor for you. They also have a cybersecurity master's program if you want to check that out as well. But I do not recommend paying 40000 for a cybersecurity master's program, especially when I believe Sans Institute has a, uh, like if you're interested in an expensive cybersecurity master's program, Sans Institute does a master's program in cybersecurity where it comes with almost like every GIAC cert. So that would be much more beneficial. So we're going to exit this web page and we're going to go to this one, which is the admission page. Uh, so 48 credits, you'll be learning Java, Python, C++, required courses here. So, okay, here we go. One programming language course, one data structures course, one discrete math course is required, one algorithm course is required, two theoretical computer science courses, one data science, artificial intelligence, or machine learning course, one cloud computing course, two software engineering courses, one computer science pre-capstone on the campus, and one computer science capstone. Uh, so very interesting curriculum here. So it's not exactly as free electives as, as I thought, but you still get a bit of a mixture of everything. So it's not like very concentrated on one thing. So the on-campus experience, traditional on camp Harvard summer school offers housing, meal plans, blah, blah, capstone course project. So it'll be some kind of real project is designed to give you the option to work on real team-based projects in collaboration with industry partners and fellow students. And yeah, another reason to do this degree would be the networking, right? So you get to go to Harvard for three weeks. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of networking opportunity. Uh, you'll probably get access. I, I believe you do get access to the Harvard alumni. Uh, all the hard work, Harvard networking opportunities you will get. It's one of the re uh, one of the main reasons people go to expensive schools is for the gigantic networking opportunities with companies. So these schools are connected to companies. Uh, and yes, they can get you hired more so because of those connections and those networking opportunities. So this is a earn your way in. Basically, you'll do one data structures course and one programming course. You'll get a B in both. They will both count towards the uh, degree. Um, and that will basically earn your way in. Applying to the degree program, I'm pretty sure you'll need some kind of tech bachelor's degree with probably a 3.0 GPA. Although online schools, it says 3.0 GPA, but if you have like a 2.8, I would assume they'd probably still let you in. Um, now we're going to go to the next page here. I have the course search open, which is pretty cool that they actually let you do this. I remember doing this a while ago uh, because I was researching this degree like a couple years back, actually. Um, let's see here. Let's click on cloud computing. So you got cloud architecture, security and governance, fundamentals of cloud computing with OpenAI with Microsoft Azure. That sounds like a good, really a good course especially if you ever want to get into like cloud engineering and learn, learn more about artificial intelligence as well. Um, so data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. So data modeling is a course, uh, data science with artificial intelligence, which is just an ethics class, big data systems, finance, it's pretty interesting stuff. And then software engineering, they have user experience engineering, which sounds like an extremely useful course. And they have a couple digital digital uh, media courses. So from prototypes to prototypes to products and services, this course would be great if you want to be like a product manager. I think both of these would be great if you want to be a product manager. As I told you guys before, software engineering and product management have a lot of crossover. A lot of software engineers become product managers. 
even some product managers become software engineers. So, uh, although more so the former. So we'll click algorithms, algorithms at the end of the wire. Uh, I believe they have more courses than these. This is just for this specific term. Like if I'm going to do all terms, I think it might expand the program a little more here or not. It goes into different things entirely. If you want a Harvard education, if you want, if learning is the most important thing to you, then maybe this degree is right up your alley. Maybe this is the degree for you. You don't care about cost. Um, you know, you have money. You just want to learn, learn, learn. You think this degree provides a good learning experience for you. And they have more courses than the courses that I showed you. Uh, I think it was just locked on that certain term because they don't offer every course available every term. They have Android courses. They have iOS courses, which is pretty awesome. Like this is like the only university I've seen that actually offers an iOS course online. Um, I'm sure there's some out there, but most courses have like a, most online degrees have like a general mobile programming course or an Android course, but to see specifically a very in-depth iOS course was really awesome. And they do have it in this degree if you wanna take it as an elective, along with a very in-depth Android course as well. So. Very good stuff. Uh, it's a very well put together curriculum. Uh, very good classes. Uh, probably going to be very challenging courses. And that's just something you sign up for at a school like this. But you will learn. And you also get an excellent professor. Uh, for me, I don't necessarily overly care about like lectures. But if you want to go to a school with just like premium top tier lectures, then Harvard would be a school that you would go to, right? This is gonna have like recorded lectures that you can play and it's just gonna be a very, very great learning experience for you. You know, Harvard and MIT, along with other schools like Princeton, these are schools that just have like the best lectures that, you know, money can buy. So if you learn the best from lectures and taking notes from those lectures, like you understand better than anything when it comes to lectures. like somebody putting something in terms for you and talking about it uh, makes you learn the most, then this could be a very good degree for you and a very good school for you. Like I said, or if you were just curious what a Harvard education looks like for an online degree, I hope I uh, showed that to you today. So Harvard online computer science master's degree, technically on your resume, this would be listed as Harvard extension school. Although if you list it as Harvard University, I doubt really anyone would care um, unless somebody is extremely picky and, you know, uh, has too much going on, has too much spare time in their life. But for the most part, you would list this as Harvard Extension School on your resume and it would say master's degree in computer science. And obviously that would look extremely positive and extremely good on your resume. Or if you just want to do it for learning purposes, you know, this is one of the best educations money can buy. Um, all the classes will be extremely high quality. Uh, the lectures, <clears throat> the user interface, um, you know, just how everything is delivered, etc. So if you really want to just learn, you know, let's say you're not overly concerned about career stuff and you just really want a top tier education, then, you know, this would be a great degree and a great uh a great school to go to. So that will be the video for today, guys. Um, Harvard University, very expensive. Can't really hack it. And this is probably going to take you like two and a half years full time, you know, so, but it's like I said, a magnificent degree. If you really want to learn, uh, if you really want like a premium school on your resume, you know, let's, let's, let's say you went to like a WGU or something, um, public university or something like that on your bachelor's and then for your master's you want like a much more premium looking school this could be right up your alley uh, just depends what your motives are do you need a premium school no you don't but if you just really want one you think it'll help you out you know you think employers will see harvard university and it'll give you an edge which it, it probably would because harvard does have that name value 
Uh, I think most of the time employers don't really care where you went to school. But, you know, if you do, if you are like a new grad and your master's degree is Harvard computer science, yes, I'm not going to lie to you. That might, you know, be a little tiebreaker for that person. So, but a great degree. So if you guys want to do it, go ahead and look at it. Uh, Harvard University, computer science, really good program. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, or comment. It would really help me out. It would help out the algorithm so new people discover my channel. So thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Happy holidays.